All right, so we're going to go into Isaiah chapter 3, verse 16. And uh, I think it's right because the Spirit has been on the elders and apostles as of late, getting on the so-called black woman. And um, I, I think I think I should I should do that too, man. I, I don't know, the Spirit is on me to talk about this. And I'm going to title this video along the lines of Eve needs to do a better job when it comes to taking care of herself. Um, and Eve, you're lazy, you're rebellious, and you're out of order when it comes to you taking care of your mental and physical health. You're just very lazy when it comes to doing that. Now, there are some things that cause you to um, look bad due to the curses. But there are a lot of things that you can do that can make your life a little bit easier while living in Babylon. Like you have the control, you have the power to change yourself, but you just don't want to do it because you're wicked, man, and you're lazy. Really, you're just lazy. Uh, yeah, and you're wicked too, but really you're lazy. The so-called black woman is lazy when it comes to exercising, when it comes to eating, right? When it comes to being in order, like there's just little simple things that she can do to make herself look good, but she just doesn't want to do it, right? And she thinks it's cute when it's really not, man. Um, so, so let's get into it. Um, this is Isaiah chapter three, verse sixteen. Judah's woman denounced, and um, a part of you being denounced means you have degenerated. If you were to compare our woman from today to how they were back then you know what you would you would you would pull out your hair and you would pluck out your eyes you'd be like what the fuck is this <laughs> right and the reason why i say this is because there's a lot of examples that you can find in the scripture of how beautiful our woman looked and how uh how mentally stable they were uh back then when compared to now so anyways, uh, this is Isaiah chapter 3, verse 16. It says, Moreover, Yahweh saith, Because the daughter of Zion's are haughty. That's right. You know what haughty means? It means you're very proud and you're very arrogant. And um, that's a so-called black woman. I'm talking about the wicked black woman. The wicked ones. The wicked ones of you. Two-thirds to be exact. And you even got some of them in this truth too. Very proud and very arrogant. You know, this so-called black woman, man, is so proud and arrogant. It's to the point where she has all the answers. She has the solutions. Nobody can tell her nothing. But yet, her life is in shambles, man. She's the least desired woman on the planet Earth. Nobody likes her. Nobody wants to date her. And it's true. I'm not making this up. Go look up the stats. But she's got all the answers. She's got the solutions. And that's how proud and arrogant you are. Very haughty, man. Very proud. Got a proud look on your face. Like your shit don't stink. And walk with stretch forth necks. Yeah, and, and that's what they do. They they come to you with that chicken neck. You can't tell me what to do moving their head while they're talking to you. That's what it means. Waving her finger in front of your face. She she comes up to you bold as a man. Right? Doing that to you. When she sh She has no business coming up to you like that. That's our woman. And wanton eyes, yeah, that's wanton eyes. You know what that means? Eyes of adultery. Her eyes are on every other man but her own. Especially when she's with you out in the public. She's looking at other men while she's with you. That's out of order. So that's what it means by wanton eyes. She's a damn slut. Walking and mincing as they go and making a tinkling with their feet. Yeah, and you see that? busy bodies moving up and down the street but you know what makes that tinkling noise them high heels and stilettos that scandalous apparel those scandalous shoes that you have on walking around like a prostitute and it's very noisy and loud verse 17 therefore the lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of zion and the lord will discover their secret parts Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, and uh, that scab of the crown of the head is uh, talking about baldness. You can't grow your hair properly. 
you have a patchy head or like what they like to say a nappy head your hair doesn't grow properly like like the women of the other nations or like even the latin woman right the latin woman of uh of the northern kingdom and even there even they are out of order because they they'll have long hair but you know what they'll do these latin women do will do they'll cut their hair off <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Something was calling me there. Yeah, and then they'll they'll cut the hair off. Going into you Latin women, you'll cut your hair off. Uh, you'll shave one side of your head. You line it up like a dude, man. And a lot of you guys are dykes. A lot of you are dykes. A bunch of carpet munchers, man. Sorry to get vulgar, but it's true. So the Latin woman, you're out of order. You know, you may have uh, have 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 good hair or nice long hair. What the hell is good hair nowadays? But you know what I mean, long hair. But um, you're out of order. But yeah, um, that smite with a scab, the crown of the head, is talking about you going bald. You can't grow your hair. And, and that's a majority of you black women, man. You're, you're always wearing weaves. It's to the point now, the so-called black woman, she'll rock a wig like a fitted cap. <laughs> right? Like it's a fitted hat, man. You know, she'll just plop that shit on and walk out. And, and and that's how low you have become. You know, you you have you have fallen that low. It's the point now where you put a stocking cap on your head and you just pop on a wig. And 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 you know the the wig doesn't even match the way your hair is. Your natural hair is. You put on a blonde wig, a red wig, trying to make yourself look like the so-called white woman too, right? So so you guys you you pop on wigs like it's a fitted hat. <laughs> you know, it's bugged out, and and that's not good. That isn't cute. That's actually a curse onto you, and and, and that's a that's actually the Lord punishing you. It says smite, okay. And you see a lot of our women. Where are they? They're not in the gym. You know where they're at? They're in me. They're in Mister Lee's wig shop. They're in Clores. They're in the beauty the beauty shop looking for weave. Or they're at the food court, stuffing their face with abominable foods. And the Lord will discover their secret parts. You see that? Discover their secret parts. So, yeah, your secret parts is going into your your private parts, like your, your breasts, your ass, your legs, your vagina, showing your body parts. And that's a majority of our women. And that's due to um, social media and... To the female celebrities of our nation. You know, they, they influence the average so-called black woman to act that way. To 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 go out on the street and, and, and dress so uh, provocative. Man, I'm thinking about certain females right now. Female celebrities like Ice Spice, Sexy Red, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion. Right? Flo Millie. Yeah, man. A lot of those women are... are are not are actually uh, showing their secret parts on on live television on the internet shaking their ass showing their titties singing about how they blow rod how they how they eat box yeah busting it wide open on stage man and that's not that's a damn shame that's a really a damn shame onto you men because the woman is our glory you know, if our glory is not in order, then it shows that we are a weak nation. If your woman is not in order, she you, your nation is weak, and that's a majority of our women, man. They're 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 not in order, and that means that the men out of the nation of Israel are very very weak, and that's a damn shame. So it says, uh, verse eighteen, and that day the Lord will take away the bravery of their twinkling ornaments about their feet. And their calls and their round tires like the moon, the chains and the bracelets and the mufflers, the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings, the rings and nose jewels, the changeable suits of apparel and the mantles and the wimples and the crisping pins, the glasses and the fine linen and the hoods and the veils. Wow. So, yeah, he's going to take away your style. 
going to take away your good looks, going to take away your costly apparel, going to take away those nice veils that you wear because a woman's supposed to be covered up. But now it's, it's to the point nowadays where if you were to tell a woman to dress modestly, they'll think that you're cramping their style. They'll think that it's lame to do that. But back then in, in the ancient world, they decked themselves out while they were dressing modestly. And what do I mean by that? They were dressing very uh, 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 nicely w while they were covering themselves up. So they would be wearing the perfume. Uh, they'll be bathing in the oils. They'll, be na they'll make a nice garment for themselves walking up and about. They didn't look all disgusting because that's what you women do to fe feminism. That's what you associate modest apparel with. It looking disgusting, cramping your style, making you look low. When really that's not the case. So our women back then, they looked good, man. Looked beautiful. And it was to the point that they were so calmly that their feet wouldn't even touch the ground. I remember there was a scripture. Nowadays, that doesn't happen. But anyways, man, I'm just, I'm just, let me move on. Now it says here, and instead, no, I'm sorry. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. That's right, stink. So you have stink breath and you have a smelly box, a smelly vagina. Because you don't douche, you don't shower. Well, really, you don't, you don't take, you don't take baths. A lot of you women, you don't bath. And you know why? Because you let all these different men skeet up in you, nut in you. That's why you stink too. Because a lot of men, they just, they just, you, you just let them raw dog you. And then you let them shoot shoot their semen up in you and then you stink and then you don't shower, you don't clean yourself. And that's why you're so bugged out. Yeah, but it says, instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. Yeah, so you don't smell good. You don't bathe. And women are not supposed to shower. They're supposed to take baths. They're supposed to marinate themselves in oils. Bath oils. Cinnamon, myrrh. Nice bath oils. So, so your vagina is supposed to soak up all of, all, of, all of that, all of those oils, and it's supposed to, supposed to clean you out. You're supposed to marinate yourself while taking a bath. You're supposed to take baths. You're not supposed to shower. Showers are for men. And a lot of you women, you don't even shower, man. Because of, because of how this society is. Everything, you're in a rush. You got to go to work. And you're just lazy. Don't want to run a bath prop. You don't want to run a bath. And also, a lot of you are not taught how to bathe. You're not, you're not taught how to wipe. Right? So you stink, man. And it's a turn off. It's a turn off. And instead of a girdle or rent, and instead of well set hair, baldness. That's right. So you're going to be wearing a wig. You're going to be putting on a weave. You're going to be fat. You're going to be out of shape. You're going to have a big belly. Fat. And instead of stomacher, a girdling of sackcloth. <laughs> and burning instead of beauty. That's right. And a lot of you, are, you, you look ugly, man. You just look ugly. And, and, and that's due to the curse. <laughs> that's due to the curse. And yes, yes, you do have ugly black women. Not all of them are ugly, but some of them are. You got a lot of ugly black women. And we need to point that out. There are. And you're not cute. And, and those are the same women. They're, 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 they're acting like you should take care of them. And the thing is, man, you have a lot of men taking care of women like that because they have low self-esteem. And, and that's what's encouraging that, that degeneracy, man. That, that, that encourages these so-called black women to act that way. You should, be, you should uh, avoid a woman like that. Avoid her like the plague. She shouldn't get no play from you. But like I said, a lot of you men have low self-esteem. Oh, my mama taught me how to be a gentleman. Mama. No, your mom was supposed to teach you how to avoid disgusting women. Okay, and I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about, you know, women that are in the truth who don't look good, all right? I'm not talking about you because you're changing your way. I'm talking about these wicked women, all right? This has nothing to do with the righteous, it's talking about the wicked woman. But yeah, man, um, a lot of you men have low self-esteem. You, you you reason to yourself, oh, you know what? I got to get my shit off. I got to get my nut. 
So let me go, let me, let me get, let me get Big Shirley and Popper. And then what, what happens after you have, you have, you, you breed, you breed and you spawn nasty kids. You breed monsters. Bay Bay, well, I won't, I wouldn't say Bay Bay's kids because Bay Bay look good, <laughs> right? But you breed monsters, man. The book of Isaiah talks about that too. Children shall be rulers over you, man. Briefly paraphrasing. Children are monsters. Menstruous women shall bring forth monsters, man. Yeah. And that's another thing. A lot of you women walk around on your period and, and you're all nasty. You don't even clean yourself while you're on your period too. Nasty, man. Nasty. But yeah, a lot of you men, you lack self-esteem. Matter of fact, your mom is supposed to teach you to not give your strength onto a woman. Matter of fact, let me let me get the prophecy of uh, King Lemuel's mother. Uh, that's Proverbs chapter 31. The point will be made in uh, verse 3. Where it says, Proverbs chapter 31, verse 1, the words of King Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. Okay, so this is a prophecy. So she was saying things before it happened. And one of the things she said is, give not thy strength unto woman. And you're seeing that play out today. In the year 2024, you're seeing a lot of men give their strength on to women. And that's destroying them. And, and a part of that is you guys, because you have low self-esteem, you're getting with these big fat ass women, man. These big fat. And you know, that includes you black men, you black men that get with the big fat white woman too. I see that shit too. <laughs> I, I see that shit too. You should avoid the big fat white woman too. Avoid that bitch too. Because she's got diabetes and she has a whole lot of problems too. But yeah, um, yeah, giving, you know, giving your strength onto a woman is you, is you dating Big Shirley, man, and breeding them. And giving your resources onto them and, and making them play you like a fiddle. So anyways, it says here, and this is a good mom. This is what moms are supposed to teach you. They're supposed to get you ready for marriage too. They're supposed to teach you how to avoid wicked women, man. And a lot of you black women, you don't teach your sons, man. All you do is scold them. Oh, you look like your daddy. Oh, shut up, boy. You know, your son will come to you. Hey, mom, I want to be a millionaire. What are you talking about, boy? Nobody in this family became a millionaire. What are you talking about? You know, you got you, you, you so-called black women, you black mothers, man. You're a bunch of dream killers, too. Bunch of damn dream killers, man. And I've seen that play out, man. I see that at the grocery store. I see that when I go out and do my day-to-day, -day, man. I see you, you got some. You're, you're, you, you black women are some of the worst stewards of children ever. Worst stewards, man. Damn. But anyways, it says here, verse 2. What my son, and what the son of my womb, and what the son of my vows. Give not thy strength unto woman nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. That's right. So if you give your strength unto a woman, man, it's going to destroy you. And, and kings shouldn't be doing that. All right. So, so yeah, man, that's, that's words of wisdom right there. And this is a prophecy that he taught his mom. A lot of you black women should be teaching your sons this. Give not thy strength unto a woman. All right. Let's move on, man. So this is Isaiah chapter 3. Now let's go back to... <laughs> yeah, okay. So yeah, uh, uh, instead of uh, a stomacher, a girding of sackcloth, and burning instead of beauty, thy men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty in the war. <laughs> That's right. And um, I just want to go back up to um, verse 17. Uh, going at the very bottom of verse 17 here, uh, let's read it. It says, um, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. And you know, if her secret parts are being discovered, that means she's not discreet. And that reminds me of Proverbs chapter 11, verse 22. Because a lot of our women, they are not discreet. They're always uh, meddling in other people's affairs. Bunch of busy bodies. Right? Going on social media and exposing uh, themselves and, and talking about uh, their sex lives and, and just being wicked, man. 
not being discreet, not being quiet, not being shamefaced, exposing all her business. The hell you doing, man? So this is uh Proverbs. Let's get Proverbs. Proverbs 11 and uh, 22. Now it says here, as a jewel of gold in a swine snout, so is a fair woman, which is without discretion. Hmm. What, what, how can I, how can I uh, break this down, man? Like, just talk about it, you know, make a little commentary, you know. Uh, um, you know, a, a lot of, uh, you know, um, you know, it, it's taken for granted, you know, in this precept that beauty or the commonness of the body is, is a jewel of gold. And, and it is a very valuable thing. It is. It is, you know, to have beauty, it is very valuable. The Lord gave you beauty for a reason, to make you look good. And you have to use it. But how do you use it? You know, that's where wisdom and grace is applied. Right? So, so where there is wisdom and grace, that means you're able to guard against the temptations of, destro of dest when it comes to destroying yourself and making yourself look ugly. And a lot of our women, they don't have wisdom and grace. You know, they're beautiful already, but because they lack wisdom and because they, they lack grace, now they fall into temptations and lust, and that's what makes them look very ugly, man. You're like, wow, she looks so hot. She looks so beautiful, so pretty, so hot. But then when she starts talking, open her mouth, and you see how disgusting she is and how wicked she is, you're just a, it's just a turnoff, man. And that's you women. Okay, a lot of you women out here. So, uh, yeah, man. Um, you know, so a foolish, wanton woman is fitly compared to swine too. And that's why it says, as a jewel of gold in a swine snout. Because that, that's, that's a foolish and wanton woman, man. <laughs> you, you, are, you are fitly compared to swine. Even though, you're, even though you look beautiful. Even though you look beautiful, you're still like a pig because you're wallowing in the mire of your filthy lust, man. A lot of you women are like that. Yo, I want to be like Snooky. Ooh, I want to be like Cardi B. That, that's who our young women are looking up to. <laughs> and that's why they look disgusted, man. And what are those women following? They're following their lust, man. Right. How do you how do you think uh, Nicki Minaj? You know, do you know what it took for her to get there? She had to she had to do nasty things to get where she's at. Nicki Minaj, uh, Ice Spice, Cardi B. You know they had to do wicked shit. You know Cardi B was a stripper, eh? She was a stripper, man. These are the people. These are these are the people or the women I mean that our young women are looking up to, man. God damn. Cardi B was busting it open. Yeah, I was stripper. And you know, I, I was watching something about Cardi B. Um, her driver came out and said when she pulled her pants down to change in the back of the car, it smelt up the whole car because her, her box stink. Box stank, man. So this is our this is this is who uh, this is this is what our, our, our young women are looking up to, man. That's bad, bro. That's bad. But anyways, um yeah, man, so she's wallowing in the mire. Of her filthy lust. And, and that also proves that her mind and her conscience is defiled. Right? And, and it's such a damn shame that, that her beauty is being, being abused this way. Right? It, it's such a damn shame that, you, that, you know, a lot of you women, you're so, you're so beautiful, but you're just, a, you're just abusing your own beauty, man, by being so damn wicked. Because you don't want to live modestly. Right, so yeah, man, and also when 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 a jewel of gold is in a swine a swine snout, it's 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 showing you that it's misplaced. You know, a jewel isn't supposed to be in a swine snout because a a pig is a pig. A pig isn't supposed to be decked out in beauty, but that's you, woman. You're like pigs that have gold earrings and 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 uh, gold ornaments on, man. It's it's misplaced. Your beauty. And uh, and your bad attitude, it's misplaced. It's just it's just disgusting, right? Anyways, that's what I wanted to talk about. 
Now, now let's get Esther 2 because this shows you how you're supposed to prepare yourself for, for your man, really. And it shows you women are supposed to bathe, bathe not shower, bathe. All right, so this is Esther chapter 2. I'm going to start at um, 11. And Mordecai walked every day before the court of the woman's house to know how Esther did and what should become of her. Here's the point. Now, when every maid's turn was come to go into the king Asherus, after that she had been 12 months according to the manner of the woman, for, for so were the days of their purifications accomplished. So I believe it, it's a span of uh, 12 months. 12 months. They're supposed to be uh, purified. That means they're getting ready for the king, right? They're getting dolled up for the king, but it takes a certain amount of time. And um, yes, this is the king, right? The king is supposed to get the best of the best. But a lot of you women, you don't treat your man like a king. You want to be a queen, but you don't want to <laughs> treat your man as a king. A, a queen isn't really a queen if she doesn't have a king. You know what I mean? But but even then, that goes so far where you're not even supposed to be a queen. Because if you go into the word queen, it really means bitch. In our nation, there were no queens. You were really a princess. Right? But, but yeah... Um, you're really supposed to prepare yourself for, for your men. But in this day and age, what do these women do? Like, they'll have a bachelorette party. They'll, they'll, get, they'll take all this rod before they get married. You know, blow all these rods. And then the next day, she'll put on a white dress. Do you understand what that white dress means? That white dress, when you put that on, it means you're pure. It means you're a virgin. You haven't been defiled. A lot of you, a lot of you, uh, a woman, when you when you get married, you're already defiled. You already been touched. You already been laid down with. You're dirty, and you obviously didn't go through a purification period. So this shows you she she was a uh, she was of good stock, and she was cleaned up, and nobody touched her. Nobody laid with her. So here you go. It says, "For so were the days of their purifications accomplished." To wit, six months with oil of mirth and six months with sweet odors. So yeah, so the first six months, she was uh, marinating herself in oil of myrrh. And then the next six months with sweet odors, man. You women don't do that. You women don't bathe. You don't take bath. A lot of you just shower or, or you don't shower at all. You just spray some perfume over your sweaty ass. That's what you do. And you stink too. A lot of you, a lot of you women, man, you smell like truck drivers, man. Stink doing a long haul. <laughs> Stinky, stink as fuck. And then you want guys to wife you, man. Here it is. Here, here it is. She's, she's, she's walking around in a t-shirt and a sweatpants with some pumps on, thinking she's, thinking she's the shit. Thinking that she's, she's wifey or, or, or marriage material. That's all these women are. The nerve of you, man. You want you want men to take you seriously. I'm talking about real men, okay? Because the ones the the ones the the type of men you date they're not men. They're they're boys. <laughs> but anyways, they move on. And six months with sweet odors and with other things for the purifying of the woman. That's right. So she's supposed to go through a purification period, and she's supposed to doll herself up. A lot of you women, you don't doll yourself up, man. Hey, man, back in like the twenties or thirties. A lot of the wives, right, of all races, they would have at home at their home. They would have like a desk with like a mirror, and like a, a makeup box. And every day they would doll themselves up for their mans when they would come home. You women don't do any of that. You're telling your man to shut up. You don't want to get him a beer after work. Hell, you don't even want to sleep with him sometimes, man. You you deprave him from se of sex. All right, so hey, uh, you guys are bugged out, man. A lot of you women are bugged out. Anyways, man, um, that's all I got. Hope this was edifying. Until next time, just want to give all praises, glory, and honor due unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakaha Chodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone of GMS, to USA Shalom.
and shalom to the hopeful elect. Kwa Allah and above above.